And we must not only listen to the truth that we once heard, but we must obey it. We must seriously, I'm talking loud because it's so important. Today's and the hour that we're in, we must obey the words of Jesus, J Jesus, the Bible, what we have heard, the messages, the truth of the gospel. We must not only listen, but we must obey. Don't listen to this because it's hey, you know, the ladies, uh, you know, don't, because, you know, I'm here, I'm just going to speak the truth, and this type of truth, the way I'm saying it, is so necessary. Why? Because the rapture is around the corner, because, uh, because the Bible it's true. Remember Noah. Perfect example. The word even says in the New Testament. That the end will be. The end times will be like the day of Noah. Like the days of Noah. He warned everyone that there was a flood coming. And there, there had never been rain then. So everybody he told thought he was nuts. And he was telling everybody he was pleading with everybody. There's going to be a flood. You need to prepare and get ready. But guess what? They said, okay, okay. And they went about their normal life. And then guess what? It was, uh, it was some time. But it started to rain for the first time. And then guess what? The flood came. And they all died. But guess what? God himself sent Noah to warn them. But they didn't listen. They thought he was a nut. Just like, you know, some of you might think, I, I don't care. But I'm telling you. This is a warning from God. He he is love. This is he's lovingly warning people. Don't just listen to the words that you hear, but obey them. That's what Jesus says in the New Testament. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? Why do you say Lord, Lord? But you don't do the things I say. You just say, you know, you right. I believe, man, that's cool. You know? Peace and love. Peace and love, man. Peace, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's going too far. But. Sorry. It is, <laughs> it is so important. I hope I haven't lost you for real now that I, you know, I'm sorry. But it's so important to know, Hebrews, Hebrews 1, do not only listen to the words, but obey them. Don't listen, it says listen to the words you hear. But I say, the word listen, obey. Don't only listen and let it go into one ear and not the other. 
Obey it. Do apply the word. Apply what God tells you. Don't just, you know, accept his word and then, you know, uh, 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 fool yourself. The word of God says that we can deceive ourselves. It says that the way of a man seems right. But in the end, it leads to death. Because, you know, there's a thing of self-delusion. Thoughts are grandiose, you know? And not listening to the Word of God. Take heed to the Word of the Lord. Don't only, you know, say this and this and that, but obey it. It's super important. And this is my being legalistic. God is a God of grace. But not hyper grace. He's a God of grace. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of love. But he's also a God of judgment. So some people only see the grace and mercy and the love. And they live however they want and say, well, God is a God of grace. His word says that he will never let anyone pluck us from his hand. But even the word Jesus says to make disciples and to teach them to obey his commands. Are we under the law? Still, no, we are under grace, but grace does not mean that we can live like hell and still go to heaven. In Galatians, Galatians, I want to say chapter, I'm not sure. In Galatians and First Corinthians, actually, First Corinthians tells us who will not enter the kingdom of God. So if you want to know more about that, you can look it up for yourself. Why am I saying this? Because I have been wrestling. With legalism and grace, yes, grace, mercy triumphs over judgment, but that still does not give us the right to live in sin and still think we're going to heaven. That's not what the Bible teaches. Share this. Love you. God bless.